Hi everyone, Tuesday morning devotion with me, Pastor Scott. It is our first Tuesday morning devotion of 2022. So it is January 4th today. And today I want to talk about something that is very important as we launch into any new year, into any day of the year at all. And that is, as believers, we are meant to act. We are meant to be the light of the world, to be the salt of the world. And I think it's a really good time for us to revisit Matthew 5, uh, where Jesus says these words. And starting in verse 13, I'm going to just read through verse 16. You are the salt of the earth, but if the salt has become tasteless, how can it be made salty again? It is no longer good for anything except to be thrown out and trampled underfoot by men. You are the light of the world, a city Set on a hill cannot be hidden, nor does anyone light a lamp and put it under a basket, but on the lampstand, and it gives light to all who are in the house. Let your light shine before men in such a way that they may see your good works and glorify your Father who is in heaven. Salt, light. Uh, it affects the environment around it, both of them, by being distinctive. And we as Christians and disciples of Jesus Christ should be visibly different from other people around the world, uh, around our community. Uh, as Christians, if we live as the light that God has called us to be, as the salt that God has called us to be, it will have an effect on the people around us. And the aim of these good works is not to parade around uh, the fact that we have this good virtue in our life, but to direct attention to God, to give him glory, as it says there. And by doing so, the person that's following Christ, the disciple, will give light to this world. Jesus is preeminently the light of the world, as it says in John 8, 12. And this role has been passed to us during this church age, and we are called to be the light of the world. So I encourage you as you journey through the start of this new year to remember to be the salt that God has called us to be, to be the light that God has called us to be to the people around us, to give glory to God in everything that we do so people may know of his truth and the hope that's only found in him. This week, we're also starting uh, the book of Isaiah on Sunday morning. We're going to dive right into that, and I encourage you to be with us from the very first sermon all the way through the end of the book, which is going to take us the whole year to go through an incredible, incredible book about how we can be comforted, comforted by the fact that God saves. And that's going to be an incredible journey. Hope you join us uh, for that journey as we journey through Isaiah together this year on Sunday mornings. Got all of our other Bible studies starting up this week as well. So it is a great time to jump in on all of that. Have a great Tuesday, everyone. God bless.